A boy says he inserted his sewing needle in his urethra to keep himself awake for homework. Oh, oh what? what? Is this in Asia? What? Oh, this is one that hurts to wow. hear the headline. Yeah, that's what? what hurts. Yeah, he shoved a sewing needle right up his dick. Right, 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 what? I've Black never, coffee? Like, what? I've never thought about shoving anything up any cavity, for one, and then much less the fucking pee hole. Nazis yeah. used to do that. Really? Yeah, they put shards of glass and like... In the dick? Yeah, for fun? Throw. No, torture. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> That's because... Did you see that shock video? No. I think it's uh, kids in a sandbox, I think. Oh, yeah, I've seen it's it, you asshole. Oh. <laughs> it's gotta be fake. <laughs> Which one? Wait, what is this one? Am, am I allowed to say it? Can I say it? Yeah, please, please. Oh, okay, so basically it's this guy and there's a girl and she has a dildo and it's like a normal looking dildo and she's shoving it into his penis through the urethra. <laughs> and he's loving it. He's shoving a dildo up his urethra? Oh, yeah, the girl, the kids in a sandbox. But it's don't fake. Don't look it up then, obviously, it's fuck. Though, right? It's gotta be fake. It can't, I don't think. I, I remember one time, you don't think it's fake? How can you fit a dildo through no, a dick? I think, I think it, it has to be because it, it would cause too much like structural damage. How big is his hole? Maybe he just doesn't care. I don't know. How big is his dick? Call, dick yeah, then. I'm gonna call my dad and ask him right now. Your dad knows he's got all the hot shit. No, I just ask him. <laughs> I'd be like, what is the object? What's the maximum object size? Your dad's like two girls, one cup. That shit's. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> he'd be like, what? He'd be like, what? He'll definitely if I call him and put him on speakerphone. He's like, Dad, I have a question. If I were to stick first, I don't even know if you would know what a dildo. You want to call him, put him on speaker right now? That'd be tight. His dad's a doctor. Let's see it. Both of his parents are doctors. <laughs> he must know what a dildo is. If you if you say uh plant. by the way, he's going to be utterly confused. Perfect. And he's I want to hear Please. from a doctor. Yes. I've, listen, okay, right. you don't know. This is our first light in JK News live. call. Live. Yeah, live. I don't think if I should call my mom because she might be waiting to ask a doctor a question on this I'm fucking call, show. I'm gonna call my mom because okay. the internet knows my mom better than my okay. dad. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. my dad will just call me an asshole and hang up. What are her credentials? <laughs> she she's a radiologist. Okay. Oh yeah yeah yeah. They'll know more than I would. They're both doctors. This is great. <laughs> mom. Hey mom, uh, so I'm I'm live right now on a on a, a YouTube show, and I have to ask you a medical question. What? <laughs> no, I gotta ask you a medical question because this we. Wait, you dude, I'm gonna ask you the question. It's just some stupid news article about some stupid kid doing stupid shit. But you gotta just answer medically, okay? Don't yell at me. No, I know, but what is it about? I'm gonna tell you right now. So this kid in China took a acupuncture needle. Is dad with you, by the way? He's outside in the garden. Like go get him, go get him, go get him. Like, run out, run, run! Like, your life depends on it. I'm, I'm upstairs. Okay, anyways, this kid took an acupuncture needle and shoved it in his urethra. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, our question is, what is the biggest thing that you can put in your urethra? before basically splitting your penis in half? Well, you know, when we do a catheterization, you know, we put a tube in the urethra. Oh, right. The yeah, but how big is the tube? What's the diameter of the tube? Uh, I have to ask that. Church? Ask her about the dildo. Can, she, can, we, can we get <coughs> a dildo? Dildo. Dildo. We gotta, gonna, dildo? I'm gonna ask my dad yeah, that yeah. question. Yeah, I have to ask that. I don't know, it's raining and I don't know where he is. <laughs> Have dad call me back. <laughs> Immediately. Tell him it's an emergency. <laughs> Ask him if he can fit a double sided dildo. Tell him I'm gonna go back to med school. <laughs> <laughs> no, let me ask dad. Dad. Dad, no, seriously. I got a serious question. You're gonna think it's stupid. It's a medical question. It's a medical question. You're, you're live right now on TV, on internet TV. So, there's a kid in China, he stuck an acupuncture needle in his urethra. Okay. We want to know what's the biggest object you could stick in your urethra with, uh, before breaking your dick in half. Dick in half? <laughs> <laughs> <You're> like, like, <laughs> like, no, like, you know what I mean, like... <laughs> One centimeter. One oh. centimeter. So, like, if I wanted to take an object that was like the size of a banana, 
Cucumber. No, banana is not a one centimeter. Banana is a two inch. <laughs> two two inches. He's two inches. So you're saying one centimeter is the max. I can't get bigger than that. No, no, it's not the max. See, when you lubricate, you can put easily up to two centimeters. And it's a soft tubing too. No, so, it need not be soft. <laughs> Did you get a dildo up there? He's not gonna know what that is. The reason is because when you do a citrus. Wait, I, Dad. You know what? A, do you know what a dildo is? Doctor, do you know? What? A dildo. Do you know what that is? What is dildo? That's exactly what I thought. There you go, people. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank awesome. you. That was awesome. Doctor. <laughs> oh, no. like, what is Three, Dilda? Two, one, action. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Off the Record, where we talk about whatever we want. And today we have Ken. Hey, hey. He's a comedian and a commercial superstar. <sighs> Do you have healthy erections, Kev? Pretty healthy. He looks like a healthy erection kind of guy. I think so too. Yeah. Nice and girthy and healthy and yeah. like fully strong. But you. if I didn't, I mean, what's the point? He looks well rounded. Yeah. Yeah. What's the point of being upset about it? Well, you, have, you have a wife and kids, right? Now you can wife get and kids. Them? Are you pissed about the stereotype that you're because you're black you have a gigantic dick? You know, <laughs> I'm, pissed about I'm it. not personally gigantic. pissed because. Um, yeah, it just really doesn't bother me. That's it's not real. a bad stereotype to have. It you. That's a, yeah, stereotype. that's a great stereotype. It sucks for the black kid who doesn't have a huge cock. What are you talking about? That's true, because I saw this bodybuilder at 24 Hour Fitness, and now I was, uh, he was a black guy, but he was really buff, right? He got out of the shower, and he had a baby's dick. And I was so proud, because I was like, ha, my dick's bigger. But what if it was a grower? It could be a grower. It grows to like 12 inches. That's scientific. Oh. Or it could be a, does steroids affect your penis size? Yeah, it does. Uh, your ball size. Oh, balls? Not yeah, it shrinks your balls. Oh, wow. How, why does that happen? Because the testosterone, doesn't it, don't steroids add testosterone? Yeah. It adds testosterone, but what ends up happening is your body stops producing its own, because your body is always trying to maintain oh, so some sort of balance. your balls are just like, oh, so I you just want to have your own testosterone? <laughs> you don't need me, fine, we're out of here. We're out of here. And they go back inside. And they go back inside, they start going, the door. and they get small, really, really small. Really? Wow. Yeah. Guys that get better sleep have bigger balls, so I'm trying to sleep more. Really? What? Why do you want bigger ball. balls? What, like, what? I'm thinking that maybe that's, that's what helps me moving. build testosterone -y. Did you just make that up? No, I no. saw that on a TED talk. Bigger balls mean to, to women that you're very virile. You got a lot of cum. On like a subtle way, yeah. And like, I a, know like a genetic way. But, but I don't want to know big until you're naked. Yeah. I mean, right, but that's they around well, the That's time. a virile guy. <laughs> 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 no, but the virility is innate. It's innate. And so when they see you and they see those gigantic balls, they're like, oh, shit. We know, they got, we know when you guys have big balls because then uh, they'll get stuck to your shit. So when we see guys go like this and they go... <laughs> No, I don't tell people that. They're gonna keep doing it all the time. We're like, ooh, he's got big balls. But everyone does that. I got little balls and I still do that. Yeah, little balls can be sticky. I feel like my balls shrank over time. All right, so Kev. Yeah. I need to grow it. Little balls can be sticky. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man! Mine, mine, Don't listen to him. He's mine, got great mine, balls. They're like they. No, yours are very nice. They're very adjustable. Very adjustable nice is the right word. Don't hang too low. Like they're like the equivalent of perky tits. Like does, that's what you have. Does he have perky balls? Like does he have great balls and an okay dick? Oh, he's got a great dick and okay. great balls. Oh, okay. that's so nice. Well, you were being so so specific about the balls. I wasn't. Oh, people, don't, people never talk about their ball size. I don't know. Yeah, no, there's some... People should send ba balls nudes only. Oh, yeah. I like that idea. No penis, no, just like it. balls. Yeah. Like that. We have a friend that loves ball balls. Situation. Mine, mine are extremely <clears throat> adjustable. <clears throat> like, if I come out of the ocean, <clears throat> I literally have a vagina. <laughs> Me too. And an uh, Audi belly button. <laughs> I look like I'm neutered after a cold shower. <laughs> <laughs> really Wait, why do you have a vagina coming out of the ocean? <laughs> it's, it's so really cold. cold. It's so cold, yeah. the oh. balls get tucked in. The balls okay. go in like there's ovaries. Ball wedgie. And then my dick shrinks so hard, it's like an Audi belly button. I only go in warm water, so I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? I see. Extremely adjustable. And then on a hot day, they kind of sag, you like pen a pendulum swinging around. But Wait, has, your, has your dick per turned like a fucking purple ant eater when it's so cold? Yeah, I've seen it. Really? Yeah, yeah. A purple ant eater? Yeah, I think you really away. should go to a doctor. It looks like a sea creature. Like, yeah. I'm just like, what happened? It's like an alien. <laughs> I'm disgusted by my own dick. Oh, How's your dick? <laughs> <laughs> you zip zap zopped it to him. <laughs> it's pretty good, man. It's been having a color, having a great awesome. summer. I actually wanted to ask hot you about summer. your. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a hot ball summer, man. Summer balls are not pleasant. Oh. A court has ruled that making a gun-like hand gesture is a crime. What? Where? Like this? What context is this? <laughs> In Australia, because it's probably actually dangerous there. <laughs> this is a crime. 
maybe this is a crime. Maybe this is okay, but like, this is a crime. I think, I think, I think this might be okay, but if it's assault, oh, oh. It's like a high capacity, yeah, like, yeah. like, like this, yeah. That's and true. if you and if you mime how big the magazine is, <laughs> yeah. I think that might be like, oh shit, it's like, a, that's an assault yeah. hand assault, gesture. Assault fingers. Assault yeah. gestures. This one, huh? Yeah. Well, the assault one, one, you can only do one at a time, though. Yeah. Oh, that's really? true. Are you allowed to have really? concealed gestures or no? <laughs> like this? Yeah. Yeah. I don't, know, I don't know these laws. All right, so this happened in Pennsylvania. A court ruled that making a gun-like hand gesture is a crime after a man had made the hand motion towards a neighbor. And it oh, because it's a threat. It was during an argument with a neighbor. Oh. And apparently, the like him doing that gesture made a lot of neighbors really, really nervous. Especially even, yeah. right now, too. Yeah. It even the crazy prompted them on. to call the police. Yeah. That um, makes sense. We're, we're really yeah. having like, <laughs> uh, you don't know what's yeah. in here. <laughs> that's why you should start going like this. <laughs> that's that's better. That's got to be worse. And you got to do I the think sound. It's better. Oh, then you oh, got recoil? Yeah, right? yeah. 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 Boom. That's like a fucking cowboy showdown threat Woo. right there. With the sandals on. That's the death yeah. wish. Yeah. He looks yeah. like a get off the get off my lawn kind of guy. You're right, Joe. Just with the single barrel. Yeah. Yep. Would you get in trouble if you're like, uh, I'm gonna kill you? That's considered a threat. Yeah, right? it's a threat. Yeah. yeah, that's illegal. This is the same thing then, right? Because of this neighbor being so argumentative with them, they had to install a lot of security cameras. So he fucks with all the neighbors. I mean, that's what they're saying. He goes like this. <laughs> he's just bad boys. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Every day he wakes up in the morning, he's miming. This is fucking binoculars. <laughs> miming. Is boom, boom, boom. That's too threatening now, though. What he should have done is you, you do the shovel. You're like. Oh, yeah. I'm and then you're like. Hey. In here. He's like an improv shotgun, master Steve. and shit. Right. He knows how to use all his objects, object work. <laughs> or what if the neighbor's peering up through the blinds and he's still digging later that night because he's getting an accurate hole? <laughs> <laughs> That's six feet of dirt right there. Yeah, That's like, not, oh, not fucking around. Yeah. He's like, stop to get some lemonade. <laughs> he has a rag and everything. Yeah. He's like, oh, God damn, son. He's like, oh, the, he's like, the mimic son is just fucking hot. You know, it's middle of the night. He's doing he takes an work. umbrella and shit. Yeah. Or he puts the umbrella hat. Yeah, he's like, and the next day, he's building a casket outside. He's holding nails in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he's really committed to this. Like, I won't make no gun gestures, but you gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> he's just doing like Would poison. You be more scared or less scared of that guy that's like uh, committing to. No, I'd much like rather a... you do this yeah. than dig the grave all day. Because yeah. you're yeah. just like, oh, you're very unstable. Yeah, <laughs> you're com you're committing to this bit. Yeah, <laughs> I would love to see them take me to court though for doing all those mimes. Yeah. <laughs> and the vo video footage, I'd love yep. to see that. I think I'm more scared of the hand gesture guy. Because then this guy, I'm like, how long does it take you to build a casket? It's like, three months. Then I'm going to move out. I'm just going to move out. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm getting to the walls yeah, now. Yeah. You, better, you better get scared. I'm picking out the wood. I don't like He's it. All, he's sanding yeah. it. I'm giving this a nice rosy finish. He's like cleaning yeah. it. He's, he's painting it. He's, he's painting it with like his magnifying Hopefully glass. Hopefully he can get it done in a weekend. Because otherwise he's got to go to work and then come back and keep working. On it, I know it's a weekend project. Yeah, but the casket guy, you know, he don't he'll he he has a discipline for it, so it's like yeah. kind of scarier because you know he doesn't quit. He doesn't stop. That's super scary. He took off a day of work and like, nah, man, I gotta catch up. <laughs> he even fucking mimes his fucking driving to work and he's like working and then he's like, fuck, dude, he's at the factory and shit. He's work, he's working on it. Yeah. Somebody drives up and he's like, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> he starts miming it to that guy. It's like you're gonna die too. Yeah. <laughs> Two cast. The driver has no idea. Yes. Like, <laughs> what if the lady? participated and he was like and she was like <laughs> and now they're having a fight and it now just she pulls out the shot yeah, yeah. yeah. see Boom. if they don't have a <laughs> and they're like no 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 I shot you no no I caught it yeah. I caught it fuck you and then he turns around and it's a bazooka yeah. and the lady's like <laughs> <laughs> And then she fucking comes in with a tank and shit. <laughs> and he's like, wait, is this a tank or are you in a car? And she's like, oh, it's a tank. And he's like, oh, it's a tank. Shit, it's a tank. <laughs> I'll, be ready. I'll, I'll make sound effects next time so you'll know. Because yeah. I feel like that would be Thank you. That would help right, me. Yeah, right. thank you. <laughs> We're gonna be neighbors, we gotta know how to do this. If that's the extent of violence that it got up to though, that would make me really happy where it's just like everybody like is like fighting with their neighbors but all in mimes. Like, no one actually gets hurt. I'd be like, yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Like I pulled out a sword because I saw John Wick sword fighting like lightsaber's even better. Now I'm using
the force on you. <laughs> I'm choking you now. Or they might be like, no, 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 no fantasy shit. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna do fantasy, I'm gonna throw fireballs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how do I know it's a lightsaber, not a sword? You were doing like this. Wait, 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 Sorry, wait, wait. 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 <laughs> what you were arguing about? Yeah, yeah. Now it's about the rules. <laughs> They're like, no superhero uh, shit. No superhero right. shit. No fantasy shit. No, 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 no. Only real world shit. I also have a dragon that fucking breathes fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they start doing some Game of Thrones shit? Yeah. Yeah. Drakars. <laughs> See, they're gonna fight over that shit. A Chinese restaurant was busted washing their pots and grill tops in a local lake. Well, wait. Oh my god, that's this disgusting. sounds like 400 years ago. <laughs> yeah, wait, is that weird? I guess it depends on the lake. This might be a, a popular opinion with the rest of you, except for Bart and Joe, but what if, I, I, say? if I don't know what's going on behind the scenes, I'm okay. Like, I think as soon as I see that. That's a that, very popular opinion. Is it? It's like it's not real until well, you see it. Exactly. So for me, like, like I don't know. Like, I don't even want to think about it. Like, wait, why Why is that great. unpopular for us? Because you guys are down. The Even if you see it, you guys are still down. Oh, you mean the food? So, yeah. so the process. Yeah. Um, or, like, or in general, though, right? Like we were talking about, like UGG boots earlier. But my question is, doesn't that kind of go against what you're saying about wanting to be ignorant? Uh, does what go against it? Uh, you rooting for them, bringing out the. I'm not rooting for them. No. So what I'm saying, because I, it, it's been exposed now, so now I'm on their side because now I'm not ignorant. Mm. But yeah. wouldn't you rather not know? Wouldn't you be like, no. oh, I'm why did you fucking show me that? I wanted no, to stay I'm ignorant. Not. No, I'm not. Yeah, that, that one. Yeah, because no, you said no. you said you. Uh, if I don't know, I'm fine. But as soon as I find out, then I'm like, oh fuck. Okay, well, I'm on this side now. But you don't blame the fucking whistleblowers. Do you? No. Root, yeah, do you root for the exposers? I'm not rooting for anyone. <laughs> I'm not on anyone's team. So, so all I am is uh, for this case, I right? Do. I'm like, I like food. I'm rooting for good food. Yeah. That's it. The exposers come out. Oh man, my good food's ruined. Oh, that's kind of nasty. I'm not going there anymore. I walk away. And I'm like, thank uh, you. It changes her perspective on how exactly. she feels about it. But do you go, thank you for showing me it's Yes. Not? I go, so, thank so you, because... So don't you for the exposure? Uh, then that means you don't uh, want to be ignorant. Yeah, yeah so that's, so, that's so. what I mean. So if, you, if you're an exposure rooter, yeah. then that means that you <laughs> don't want to be rooter. ignorant. Okay, yeah. okay, fine, fine. Because <laughs> I do want to be ignorant. I'm like, Dirty why did you show me that? Rooter. <laughs> it's like, you don't root for the exposure, but if it happens, then yes. you're like thankful as well. But you don't actually want to be exposed. Yeah, I still, I'm still okay, like... Like living in the fucking Oz world, you know what I mean? Like the Wizard of Oz world. I get like, mad like, at the exposer. Yeah, speaking I'm of like, Wizard why of did Oz. you tell me that there's worms and crickets in his hamburger? Yeah, but that's why, because I know you guys are the way you are, I can't tell you guys the truth. About what? Like but I could tell, tell, like I could tell, tell Joe the, you tell me I could tell, truth after though, I could tell Joe sucks. the truth. Yeah, don't I know say it is. after. You tell me after. Just don't say no, it. Period. Because, no, I, uh, after after is okay because no, it's not because now I want to throw up it. and I'm like you. But you did it. Wait five hours after you eat. By the way, you just ate lamb dick. No, no, he tells me, uh, I, you ate pork that could have been bad. <laughs> that would probably tell me while I'm eating. I'm like, you piece of shit. Now wait till you finish. <laughs> Fuck, but then you're losing the trust. Now you, you gotta- will never trust, trust you no, again. But the trust is being built. Okay, so what there happened no What happened was this. We had pork belly that was left over, right? It says uh, it's best <laughs> sold by August 24th. It's August 27th. My Asian side's like, this is really good stuff. But did you smell it? I smelled <laughs> That's it. That's the Asian. I did. Yeah, no. exactly. So no, I, it doesn't stop. The, date, the date is always off. Yeah, yeah. Joe, there was shit growing no, up. No, no, no. Oh, really? You didn't see it. You didn't see oh, it. You didn't so, see it. No, no. That means it doesn't exist. No, no, no. So I smelled it. I smell. Well, you're getting emotional over a thought, not over evidence. You literally told me the evidence. You said there was shit growing on it. That's why you want it. Just trust, cause she trusts me. Cause she trusts me. No, because she won't eat your food anymore. again. No. So what happened was, I had the pork belly. I smelled it. How is he making me feel crazy? No, you're crazy. You're crazy. I smelled it, and I'm like, okay, cool. This pork belly, uh, it smells good. It's ready to be cooked. Then I look at it closely, and there's all these little bumps all over. Oh my god. You see? So I look you over. You just said you didn't even know. What I look that's not appetizing. Dude. I look. Oh, it's not appetizing. You. That's why I have to wash them off. So I take it into the sink. <laughs> I wash this. I wash the bumps I'm off. I'm not dead. I didn't get diarrhea. I wash the bumps I'm off. Still here. I God grill them. Wants me to live. I grill them. We ate it. Tastes really good. Okay. And then after, and then it was literally like he saw me take the last bite of pork. Literally, <laughs> exactly. he waited for me to chew it, <laughs> swallow it, and he goes, "Hey, can I tell you something?" Oh my God. <laughs> You got your nutrients uh, and salmonella. Yeah. No, and then did you have diarrhea? No, I didn't. Exactly. But I don't trust you anymore. 
You should say that. <laughs> but the way you say it, dude, with the bumps and all that. Yeah. Or, or with the vlogging camera out. Right up. But you, me, and Casey would have ate it. We yeah, I would have ate it. it. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not you. I'm your fucking woman. You had green slime coming out of it. I washed it off. What? Yeah. You liked it. Yeah, pretty much. I believe those things make me stronger. And then I read an article about botulism and I go, thank God I'm invincible.